Facebook about the Squatch Box. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo proposing a $15 pay floor for New York City starting in 2019 back in California in its quest to raise the minimum wage. A plan is already in place in New York City and New York State to hike wages for fast food workers. Joining us right now is Bill Phelps. He is the co-founder and CEO of Wetzel's Pretzels. Uh, they'll be opening their first Manhattan location tomorrow. I've been eating both all of the stuff awesome. that you with the pepperoni over there and the, this is the sugar over here. Right. And so we can talk about food in a second, but on this employment issue right. and minimum wage, what's it do to your business? Uh, surprisingly, uh, California raised the minimum wage in 14 from 8 to $9. Our same store sales were up 8% in the next six months. They just raised it again from nine to ten. Same store sales are up more than seven percent. Do you think that's coincident, or no? It's not a coincidence. No, you have you have low-income people got a ten, eleven percent increase, and probably a thirty percent increase in disposable income. So it's just great for our business. Wow. Hmm. Andy Puzder, who runs Carl's Jr. Yes. and Hardee's and writes a lot in the right. Wall Street Journal, I mean, he says exactly the opposite. I mean, he right. finds a different thing. Do you think it's a different market? Do you think? Well, ours ours is an impulse market? product, you know, and people have these guys have extra money in their pocket today. So they can spend money. Uh, it's California same store sales are up uh, two points more than what I just quoted. So it is what's going on in California. And has it impacted the churn of the employee, the type of employee you've been able to? Uh, you probably don't. You probably have more churn. Unemployment's really low. You're at four point nine percent, which is makes it hard. So you do have a churn in the employees. And what about the margin? Uh, the margin is fine. You're flying, selling flour and water, so we're doing pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the decision to come to New York, by the way, I assume the right. real estate cost has to be very high. It's extremely high. But uh, we're going into the Fulton Station, which is next to the World Trade Center, probably one of the iconic locations in the world, I think, in the future. So it's really, really exciting. Can I see those? You want to try this? Yeah. yeah. So do you compete against uh, pizza ones. Annie's? Who do you, who do you, get Annie's, yeah. who do you think is your biggest competitor? Or do or you feel like you're competing with all fast food? We compete with other snack foods. We compete with Cinnabon. We compete with like hot dog on a stick. And we're, you know, a third of the calories mean? of a Cinnabon. So people go there. It's, it's just the a great snack food. Five. It's not a tenth of the size. Oh my, my. If, I eat a whole bag, if I eat a whole bag of that. You don't eat a whole bag. You share it. That's the yeah, way so it works. So how many people are supposed to eat that bag? Three. Three people? Two, are two or three. Okay, right. that's what they're supposed to do. The right. average person who buys that bag, right. though, but is oftentimes by themselves or they're with a family? Or how does they're with kids. You know, our typical shopper is the mother, mother going around the mall with their kids, and that's, that's our customer. And this becomes a meal or no? It's or you a think snack. it really a is snack. a legit a snack. snack? Absolutely legit snack. And how much does this stuff retail for? Uh, this will retail for about three ninety nine. And has the health thing impacted you at all? Um, it really hasn't. Uh, during the Atkins craze, I think there were seventeen percent of Americans were on some kind of Atkins diet, right. and our business was hurt. Uh, two years later, uh, four percent of Americans were on an Atkins diet, and our business was great right. again. So Arthur, really you've, made, you've made an argument against minimum wage over time that I thought has actually been relatively persuasive. What, is this, what does this mean to you? Well, I mean, it's like you're going to see different parts of the market affected by minimum wages in different right. places at different times. Right. It depends on how tight the labor market is and it depends on who buys the product. And right, you, know, obviously. you could have been up 14 percent if they didn't raise. You're up seven, yeah, maybe, maybe you've been up 14. We, we've been up four and a half percent historically for the last well, nine years. And so when the it's other, not a vacuum of the, all the factors. Yeah. I mean, right. look, if you increase the minimum they wage, they go to $50 lot. an hour and you, God, you'll be you can't do it. 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 You well, it, it depends. There shouldn't on, have to be a minimum wage. The, the, the way that's, that's a price control. Wage and price control. That's a wage control. So, okay. I mean, if the market is allowed to equilibrate where it should be, obviously there's going to be some type of dislocation when you do any type of price or wage control, right? And Well, and also right. you can make work pay with other types of policies mm. that actually don't distort the price signals and thus price certain people out of the market. And, because, and if, if, right? if at a fast food restaurant you're not able to be an entry-level employee, if you start at what a supervisor makes... That it, it, the, the whole system right. gets messed up. No, if we, is, that the, is that the case inside your... your well, you're not at, we're not at 15 yet. What are we at? You're at 9. No, no we're at 10 in California now. Right. Okay. But uh, I think it works. And, you know, uh, you can always argue, I think, I think the minimum wage should be increased more than every seven years. That's just my opinion. If your sales were to slow, do you think you'd have a different view? 
maybe, but our business is great, and our business has become better since the um, and there are states that have no, How many states have no minimum wage at all? None. Okay. When you, there were, when there's you a federal talk, minimum wage. When you talk to, federal, others, okay. when you talk to other CEOs in your space, yeah. so state, is it usually a debate? Is everybody in agreement? Either. 725 Well, I, I think I mean, there are certain categories that are, are more price sensitive, and there are certain people that can't pass on increases, and it's very competitive in certain categories, and those guys would get hurt. Our business is an impulse business. Uh, it's, it's a great right. purchase, and so we don't get affected. No, I told you in the break how, how much we like these pizza bites. It's great. Really good. You said it came from a franchise. franchise yeah. Uh, Ray Kroc, who started, uh, built McDonald's, had one philosophy, and it was that most of the great ideas come from franchisees. And if you look at most of our new products of the last 10 years, most of them come from franchisees. They're closer to the business. Uh, they see the customer every day, and they come up with the great right. ideas. What's the calories in that thing? Because I'm going to eat the entire cup in the next commercial break. Calories aren't bad at all. You can get uh, pretzel bites for less than 300 calories, so it's not bad at all. Okay. But three people are supposed to share that? Two people. Two people. <laughs> okay, the 600 calories. Okay, thank you, Bill. Uh, we should also tell you, you can head over to CNBCMakeIt.com today. It's a new platform to learn from the world's most inspiring self-made entrepreneurs through how-to guides, testimonials, and success secrets.